This is Granny Maggie from Granny Magic, Professor of Earth Magic at Dead University. As always, honoring your magic. I would like to speak a little bit about how herbs work in our magic. I posted a meme with a bowl of salt today that had bay leaves in it to help clear negative energy from your home. Somebody asked, well, bay leaves are used for abundance and prosperity magic as well. Will this help with that? The answer is yes, because when we clear negative and stagnant energy away, we get that flow that's so important to uh, abundance, prosperity, manifestation. We get that flow going. And more importantly, as the salt absorbs the negativity, the bay leaves, they are also protecting by opening the space up, raising the vibration, bringing in positive energy. The negative energy is, in a sense, it's like a shield, it's bounced off. And so the bay leaves have a unique energetic imprint <clears throat> that serves many purposes and works in many ways. It clears negativity. It does bring in abundance, prosperity. It assists manifestation because of its energy imprint. It's just what bay leaves do, what they attract. And in a deeper, more metaphysical sense, they're a shorthand message, that energy, as you align your energy with that energy, you're sending that message out to the universe. Abundance, prosperity, energy flow, all welcome here. Different spirits are also attracted to the different herbs that we use, the different scents, the different energetic imprints and messages. So when we use herbs, and this is also true of crystals, we need to think of them less, uh, less as ingredients in a recipe and more about energetic allies allies from the world and nature around us, alive with their own frequency, their own energetic imprints. They have a certain energetic space that they occupy. Learning how to work with that energy, learning how to work with those crystals and herbs, understanding their broader energy helps us understand how to interact with them in our magic, in our homes, and how they help us to shift our vibrational energy and the vibrational energy in the space around us. So bay leaves, yes, they protect, they repel that negativity out of that space. And at the same time, while they're doing that and helping that energy flow because of the energy that they have, they're also attracting the kinds of spirits and the kind of energy from the universe that helps bring in abundance, prosperity, helps all of that to flow. So as we work with our herbs and we work with our crystals, it's so important to understand their energy and to know how we're working with it and how it changes our vibrational energy as well as we interact with it. So yes, there are many ways to use bay leaves in salt in your home in a bowl. Your intentions, shifting and aligning your intentions with that energy is really the key. That's what sends the message really out to the universe. It's all the energy aligning. The universe speaks energy. So very much there are ways to use salt and different herbs to shift energy in a room, in your home, 
I have talked a lot about salt bowls where you can, uh, what I do in my home most often is I put the salt out because it really does just sort of absorb the negativity. And then I like to mix in uh, rose petals. Many of you have probably purchased my rose salt that already has rose petals mixed in. I like to add lavender, rose quartz, amethyst, all those different things to shift the energy in my home. And those things open up a variety of possibilities by the positive energy and the kind of message they send and how they shift my vibrational energy and my intentions are expressed in an energetic shorthand, so to speak. So it's all very wonderful and to some extent very personal. We each vibrate differently in response to the herbs and crystals around us a little bit. We each have our favorites, what works best for us. And in terms of um, attracting the things that we want, shifting the energy in ways around us to support our goals and our intentions, we need to be very, very open to that energy, to understanding these plant and crystal allies and how they support us. It's a deeper type of relationship. And by the way, we see amethyst protects. We see amethyst uh, helps open up our metaphysical third eye, so to speak, our psychic gifts. Well, it can do both of those at ex the same time. And by doing both of those, they're interwoven that's how it does it, in a sense. It, it's its energy imprint. So I really think working with them helps you in a broader sense to understand the possibilities. Many blessings.